Hey everybody, it's Mr. Loose, and today I am going to show you for our technique of the week how to draw different types of trees. So all we're going to need today is a pencil and an eraser, and if you have an eraser attached to your pencil, that's great. So let's go ahead and get started. So there are different ways to draw different types of trees, and what I'm going to show you is how to take different shapes and lines to create different types of trees instead of doing the traditional broccoli tree like most of you have learned when you were in elementary school. So we're going to start with right here with our first example. And we're going to draw just a little bump. And then over here, I'm going to draw another little bump. And then right here, just another little bump. So basically what I have are three half circles. That's all I did, three half circles. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a little like triangle, and then I'm going to draw the ground right here. Okay, so that's just the way we're going to start off. So this is like a, um, it could be a shrub, it could be a bush, or a tree with different layers. So all I'm doing is drawing three half circles, triangle, and then I drew the ground, of course. So then what I'm going to go in and I'm going to just draw more little bumps here and there. And it's okay, they don't have to be exact, but I'm just drawing in some different bumps just be, to give it some randomization. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? So there's that. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna and of course, if you had colored pencils or markers or paint, you could kind of go in and fill it in like I'm doing. All I'm doing is I'm making the bumps not look as fluffy and perfect. Now when I go in, I can just fill it in. And you can go in with your eraser and you can even like smudge or erase and take away. You could also use your finger or a paper towel. All I'm doing is just kind of blending that in, okay? And then you can go back in and kind of like just real rough, just kind of scratch in there. You can make just a few little random marks. Okay, and then before you know it, it's already starting to look like a bush, more like a tree. And I can go in with my pencil and just kind of shade in and then draw the bark. If you wanted to add like another limb, you could. And there you go. There's kind of your first tree. That's pretty simple, right? All right. So now for this next one, we're going to do more of some circles. So I'm going to draw a circle here, a circle here, and a circle here. And the great thing about trees is that trees look differently. Uh, no two trees look alike. I mean, the trees that do look alike are done by people. They're cut and trimmed to look that way. But trees in the wild all look different. So I just drew three random circles. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw in just like what many of you would consider like a traditional trunk and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to add those bumps that we talked about on this one and all this is doing is making this look more like a tree okay and you can go as wild or as crazy as you or uh, tamed as you want okay and then I'm just going to go in and shade it just draw a bunch of squiggly lines. So that looks good. Okay. And then go in with your eraser or your finger or whatever you or whatever you're using to kind of blend it all in. If you're using colors, of course, you would use different colors to kind of make it look like a leaves. Go back in, you can keep layering. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna shade or if you had colors, you could color it in. Make it 
its roots. And then you could also go in and you could give it some limbs. Maybe some limbs are sticking out because not all trees are um, full. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. You can go in and it's kind of like a cool like old swamp tree or something. You could draw some of those lines in there so you could like you're seeing the limbs in between the leaves. Okay, so there's just kind of a another example of how to draw, uh, like as I like to call it, a swamp tree. Okay. And if you didn't want to add all these different limbs coming out, you don't have to, but it does kind of make it look a little more realistic instead of being so perfect. Okay. All right. So now the next one we're going to do is we're going to draw like a half circle. And then we're going to draw another one on top of that. And then another one on top of that. Okay. And this is what I like to call like a willow or something. So all we're going to do going to draw some lines. One, two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to draw some more on top of it. And then we're going to draw some more on top of that. And there we go. There is another type of tree. This is a willow. Okay. You can go in. That's pretty simple. That's all there is to that one. And of course you could keep layering and layering and layering if you had colors or wanted to do something like that. You could, but now we have a willow tree, which if you've ever seen them, they have the very long like limbs with the, like the like huge, huge, huge long, kind of like a, um, like a chain of leaves that just kind of in the wind. So that's, that's a willow tree. Okay, so now for number four, we're going to do a pine tree, or what a lot of you would call an oak tree. So basically we're drawing a triangle. And of course we're gonna do this. Um, trunk, and then we have the land, or the ground. And then what we're gonna do is you can bumps on the side. And you can have as many or as few as you want. And you can add some more bumps that go around. Okay, and you can go in and kind of layer, color it, and depends on what you're using. So I'm using a pencil, I'm just kind of scratching and shading, coloring the, the, the stump. If you wanted, you could go through and color this in, so you can kind of like act like you see it kind of in between, okay? So there is our pine tree. So look at that. We've got like a shrub, a swamp tree, a willow, and a pine tree. Okay, so I think that looks pretty awesome. Now we're gonna do kind of an oak tree, which are the trees you see all around here. And all I'm doing is drawing a giant kind of dome. That's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna draw the ground really close to it. I'm gonna draw the, the stump. And then once again, we're just gonna kind of add some random little like squiggles or bumps. There is no way to do this wrong. You just kind of go in and do it randomly. Okay, and then we're just gonna kind of do some squiggly, crazy lines just to fill this hole in. There is no way, once again, to do this wrong. If you can make a squiggle, crazy line, you can do this. always says use my eraser kind of set. I'm not like completely erasing it I'm just kind of gently rubbing my eraser around 
So like it might take some of it off, but it's also just, I'm just kind of dragging it around so it might also kind of smudge it. And then if it does, I can go back in. And I can take another top layer. If I want it, I can go a little bit darker. You can pick up your pencil or you can just let your pencil just kind of dance around. Go back in. Erase it a little bit more. Whoop! And keep kind of going in, just keep adding layers. Okay, I'm gonna go in and color my trunk. And you can draw some like limbs, branches, and you can just make it up as you go. There is really no wrong way of making a tree unless it's a broccoli tree. That is the only type of way I don't want you to draw a tree. Just because they look fake and not realistic. And trees are so much more random and beautiful than just looking like a, a broccoli tree. And did you know that broccoli was actually made in a laboratory? Like original broccoli does not look, like natural broccoli doesn't look the way that we buy it from the store. The way that it looks was created in a lab. So even then, that's like broccoli, the way that we know it, it's not accurate. It's not real. So your tree should definitely not look like that. Okay, so there's another example of just a way of doing a tree. And then to finish up, we're going to do a palm tree. Okay, so. Um, you can go straight up, you can like go with a little bit of a curve, it's totally up to you. All I'm doing are two straight lines, and my lines start off a little bit wider apart, kind of like I'm making an A or a triangle, but then they get closer together, and then they stay the equal amount apart going straight up. And you can add coconuts if you want. Okay, so I'm just drawing different shapes. Okay, and remember, you don't want it to look too perfect. You want to kind of keep it all random. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do one more. There. And if you want, you can go in and kind of curve it a little bit so it looks more like So there, there are six quick and easy ways to draw trees. I hope that wasn't too intimidating for you. Um, these already look so much better than if you were to draw a tree like a broccoli. So this is bad, right? But these are great examples. And all we did were draw different shapes. So I hope that helped you guys. And that's all.